Hello. Well, today I'm here to talk about a film uh, that uh, until a few days ago, at least at the time of this recording, I hadn't watched in probably a few years. Um, turned 20 years old last year, and um, it has a cult following. And that film is The Boondock Saints. For a summary, for a summary, for those who have never seen it, it's about the McManus brothers, uh, starring uh, <clears throat> uh, Norman Reedus and uh, Sean Patrick Flannery, who, after killing some Russian mob guys, they sort of come to an epiphany of sorts, as of like a message from God, to. Uh, 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 rid the city of Boston of bad guys, you know, starting with mob guys, and then possibly doing other horrible things. You know, not just people with mob of with mob affiliations, um, but possibly like you know drug dealers, uh, like pimps, uh, robbers, killers, people of that nature. Um, Though I guess robbers, unless they're violent, might not necessarily be on their list. People, but, you know, uh, uh, when the police are investigating the murders of the initial people they kill, which beforehand was either res uh, uh, as a result of like a bar fight uh, that happened, and the guys who they uh, essentially jumped, uh, find where they live, and, uh, well, obviously they, all those guys die, and the brothers get away. Um, now, um, uh, Willem Dafoe, uh, who plays Special Agent uh, Smacker, he comes and looks at what all hap has happened and he's basically an intelligent man. He, know he knows this and that as to what happened. And uh, it's interesting just to see how smart he is and how he figures out who did this and like how many shooters were there and how and what took place is pretty much dead on. Um, well, yeah. Billy Connolly, yeah, he's in this also. Um, he, he plays Will Duco. The Duke, as, or, as he's called, is a very, very important uh, in the film, uh, particularly with the McManus brothers, uh, uh, Murphy and Connor. You know, uh, it's a it's a very good film. If you've never seen it, um, I don't know really how to uh, explain it if you've never seen it. But many people compare it to Tarantino's work. You know, there's quite a lot of swearing and also a good amount of violence that happens in the film. Uh, so if you're not necessarily comfortable with a lot of swearing or uh, well, a good deal of violence in film films, then um, this might not be the film for you. However, if that isn't a problem uh, for you, or you're able to overlook things like that, as long as the movie is good, um, then, you know, I'd say, you know, give it a try. Give it a watch. Um, actually, this is the DVD, and you can probably find it on Blu-ray also, uh, somewhere, um, uh, for a good deal. 
Um, yeah, the, another thing is um, religion is a an important part of this film. Uh, the McManus brothers are Catholic. They're devout Catholics. And that's important because as they go and kill people, they target uh, they target people specifically, like a specific person, and they know there'll be no, no doubt more people around them uh, to provide backup. So they come heavily armed. It's interesting to see when they get all the guns and stuff they get they also get like oh there's a gun and a funny bit of rope oh, Charlie Charlie Bronson had rope yeah well, what do you need rope for well, you don't know when you're you know you really don't know when you're gonna need it but uh, you just need it's just there you just need it it's something you just have but that but bits like that are quite humorous there's a good amount of humor in this film also, um, um, but anyway, you know, they're very devout Catholics, and what they do is they finally get the target they're looking for, and they kill everyone else but them, like save them for last. They do a prayer, and it's a like as I say, it's a family prayer, and then they put, uh, each put a gun to the back of one's head and. And um, they put pennies on the eyes of the dead, and they like do that for them, uh, so they can like pay a toll uh, uh, to get to be judged by you know on the way of the going across the river. And here's their this is the amount that you need, and you can uh, get paid. A man who's gonna get you the god to you know be judged, and um, yeah, it's it's a very good film. Um, as I said with Tarantino, um, you know, like people compare the, you know the sort of like his, his films with this, and I would say that with like dialogue, you know, a lot of swearing. It, takes place in Boston, um, and there's a good deal of swearing uh, from the films uh, that take place in Boston. You know, Good Will Hunting, there's a good lot of amount of swearing in that film. Um, the Departed, also. Um, the Fighter, you know, well, it takes place in like Lowell, Massachusetts, but I guess not. It's not too far away. I forget exactly where Wallet, Lowell, Massachusetts is. Um, Manchester by the Sea. Part of it takes place in Boston. Uh, yeah, many pe films taking place in Boston have a lot of swearing. Um, so, pre again, prepare for that if you're, you've never seen it. Um, and there is violence. And I think with the violence and the... Uh, dialogue uh, like I think that's what people often connect similar to Tarantino and his body of work the dialogue is quite fantastic in his films and there's a lot of violence obviously um, as you can see I have a decent amount of Tarantino films here um, but yeah I just uh, I enjoy this film it's a cult film, a cult classic. Uh, Troy Duffy, the writer-director of this film, hasn't really made uh, too many things outside of uh, this film. He's made the Boondock Saints 2. Um, uh, and that's really the only big notable project he's done since. I saw he did like a album. He has like a band, or at least had one. around the time this film came out. Uh, they initially had a deal. He had a deal with uh, Harvey Weinstein to have Miramax release this film. But things just fell apart. And, uh, there's a documentary called Overnight. Um, 
which seems to be fairly biased against the director, shows uh, moments uh, during the prior to production of the film and as the film is getting into production and shows just uh, shows him in not necessarily the most positive light um, of course like the film I believe was like 90 some minutes and it was filmed over the course of a couple few years and yeah it's so you know if you watch it just keep that in mind um, Though overall, I think with what it was trying to accomplish and showing as a documentary, um, it is well made, it's well done. Uh, but again, you know, there is that element of this film could be quite biased. Be pretty biased, you know. Uh, so I think that is important to keep in mind. So, yeah. If you, uh, you find it, where uh, I've seen it online, like YouTube, but then of course you know you get copyright and all uh, YouTube um, <clears throat> often uh, as the, makes the person delete the the, the video or, or at least like copyright people with the copyright uh, they block it and. Uh, times it results in then the uploader deleting the video anyway um, so yeah that's really all I have to say about uh, the boondock scenes and just some of the stuff I guess that happens behind the scenes it's a very good film um, yeah again if you're interested in a film that's action and um, it's a bit different because, in a way, it is different than other films, yet I guess in other respects, it could be fairly similar to other films. I would say I mentioned Tarantino, but I don't necessarily think if that's that comparison, that's a bad thing, personally, but I could see how some might see that as a negative. So, yeah. Uh... What do you think of this film if you've seen it? Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, have you heard of it if you've never seen it? Um, and if so, and, uh, have you been interested in watching it or not? If you'd like to leave a comment, you are welcome to do so. Um, and with that, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's really all I've got this time, so... Uh, Hope you all have a great day, have a great weekend, and a great week, and I'll see you all next time.